The Trinidadian woman rescued by the Ghana Women Miners Organization at 14 Miley Sano in Region 7 has made her story public. The mother of two said she came to Ghana on a promise that she would work for gold and money at a club in the interior. She said she was in need of the money, so she took up the offer. She said after a few months, things began to take a turn for the worse. The woman said she had to pay a rent of $3,000 a day, and she was provided with one meal at 5 in the afternoon. When she told me she had the best place and best everything, and I would get three square meals a day, which it was not true. Mm -hmm. And when I came the third day, she said, um, well, from today, you guys are paying rent. That's me and the other girls. So I said, you didn't say anything about the rent. yes, you have to pay for the kaimu. So I said, um, but you never too much. She said, well, you still have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So she ever give you any meals? You she used to give you off Once a day, like um, all five o'clock. The woman said she was doing this to maintain her two children back in Trinidad and Tobago, totally unaware to them. The woman feels she was strict, and many days she had to credit food from our neighbors. Okay. So you feel now that I feel free. I feel like God answer my prayers. <laughs> I feel free because I, if if didn't had if it didn't had you guys, I don't know when I would have lived from there. Because every day, three thousand just going three thousand, three thousand, three thousand. The money I No matter how we complain, she said she started a curse, she wake up cursing. That is her rules for her place and she built she place that nobody can stop it. And if that will hurt me because she never tell me I had to put a thousand a day. And then she stopped giving us the food. So we have to buy, we have to trust food. The woman and another Guyanese were rescued last Friday by the Ghana Women Miners Organization. She said she developed the courage after being unfairly treated. She said she was thankful to the organization for what she's hoping to become a new beginning. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Drakes.